In this video, we will show you how to replace your front exhaust manifold catalytic converter assembly on this Ford Flex. This will be located mounted to the front of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. Make your way to the upstream O2 sensor and disconnect it from the wiring harness. To do that, you'll find that you have a small locking tab that you can easily squeeze in with your finger or use some pliers. We'll grab onto the other end, give it a little tug, and separate it. Every time you disconnect an electrical connector, just take a peek. If you see any funny colors, that's corrosion and it would need to be dealt with. Now we can start removing the O2 sensor from the exhaust manifold. To do that, you want to make sure you have an O2 sensor socket. It looks like this right here. A little swivel and an extension. Make our way right down inside here. Slide it over the O2 sensor and get it into place. Now we can turn this counterclockwise to remove it. Once you have it broken free, you can remove it by hand. Now the next thing you want to do is just give your O2 sensor a quick inspection. If it looks like it's damaged in any way, go ahead and replace it. This looks fine. The next thing that we'll continue on to do is to remove the exhaust manifold shield. For this, you'll find that you have four 10 millimeter headed bolts holding it in place. Remove all four bolts and the shield. Grab onto that. That's what that should look like. Now I'll make my way over to the other side of the manifold and we'll continue on doing the exact same thing to each one of these mounting bolts. There's our last bolt. Now that we have the bolts out of there, we can remove the shield. Now let's safely make our way underneath the vehicle. Let's continue on to disconnecting the downstream O2 sensor. Same as the upstream O2 sensor, go ahead and grab onto that locking tab, give it a little squeeze, and pull this down and out of position. A quick check for corrosion. Continue on to unscrewing the O2 sensor from the pipe. Quick inspection on this and we'll set it aside. With the O2 sensor out of the way, we're going to continue removing the Y pipe, which is this lower pipe that makes its way underneath the oil pan and transmission from each one of the exhaust manifolds. We need to remove it from each of them because we have to maneuver the pipe around. We'll use our 15 millimeter on this. Now let's make our way down that pipe to where it connects onto the rearward pipe. Now as we remove our final mounting nut, keep in mind this pipe may come down a little bit. Make sure you're not directly under it. Now we can give this a little wiggle to separate it. Now let's go ahead and hang and support that pipe aside, making sure that we're not putting too much pressure on the flex pipe. Remove your gasket. Now let's make our way back up into the top of the engine compartment. We're going to start removing the upper hardware for the manifold. To do so, go ahead and grab onto this wiring harness, give it a little wiggle, and lift it up and out of the way. Now, if you were to look down along the front of the engine, you're going to find that you have three studs holding the manifold to the engine. And on each of those studs, there's a 13 millimeter nut. Remove all three of those mounting nuts. There's that mounting nut. Now 
Now that we have all three of these out of here, let's make our way back underneath the vehicle. Now we can have a look underneath the vehicle again. We're looking for the three mounting nuts that hold the manifold to the engine. You'll find that you have one along the driver's side of the manifold and the other two are along the passenger's side. Remove all three. There's our last one. Now, once we have all that out of the way, we're going to continue on to removing the bracket that holds the exhaust manifold catalytic converter to the engine down along the bottom here. When we get this off of here, we're going to go ahead and remove the entire thing and then we'll remove the bracket from the catalytic converter manifold pipe itself. To remove these bolts, we'll use a 13 millimeter. While we remove that last bolt, make sure you're holding onto the manifold so it doesn't fall down and potentially hurt you. Now we can take hold of this and start bringing it down. Keep in mind, up along the top, it's going to need to come diagonally off of those studs. Let's get this over to the bench. On the bench, we can remove the bracket by removing these two 13 millimeter mounting nuts. Remove your bracket, give it a quick inspection, make sure it is still reusable, and set that aside. And there it is, friends. Let's make our way back over to the engine and we're going to remove the gasket. We'll just gently pry this out of place using a small pry bar. Once you have the gasket out of there, you're going to want to pay attention to the engine. It's common to remove the manifold studs when you're doing the manifold. If you don't have brand new studs and these still look like they're in good enough condition, you can leave them in there and continue on with a sanding block with some fine sandpaper and sand down the area of the engine where the brand new manifold will ride. All right, let's get ready to install our catalytic converter manifold assembly. Let's start by putting the bracket in place. Once you have the bracket in place, start on each of the nuts and tighten them, but leave them just loose enough that you can maneuver the bracket around still a little bit. Now, whenever you're replacing one of these manifolds, you always wanna make sure that you're replacing the gasket as well. We'll take this and put it in position making sure that we have the beveled edge facing out. Now we can start putting this in position as well, making sure that we slide it over each one of those manifold mounting studs. Put that up against the engine. At this point, we'll start on each of our six 13 millimeter mounting nuts, and then we can bottom them out. Up along the top, we'll continue with these three mounting nuts as well. I think I already said this part, but I'm just going to say it again. 
Now the next thing we'll do is tighten each one of these mounting nuts. When we do it, we want to do it in a very specific order, starting with the bottom driver's side. Let's make our way up here. We'll snug this up and then we'll continue on just above it. That one's snug. Now the third one will be in the center along the top. There we are. That one's nice and snug. Let's get this on the fifth one here. Okay, that one's snug. Let's move down under this for number six. Get this sixth one nice and snug here. Now that we have each of these bottomed out, it's important to make sure you torque them. When we're torquing them, we're going to torque them to 18 foot pounds. And you wanna go around twice in the same sequence. Let's start with the bottom driver's side. Let's start installing our two bolts for that catalytic converter pipe. Snug these up and torque them to 52 foot pounds. Continue on along the top of that bracket. We'll tighten those two 13 millimeter mounting nuts. Continue on to your downstream O2 sensor. Take that, start it in position. You always want to make sure you're doing this by hand so you're sure that it does not cross thread into place. Let's make sure that's nice and tight. Let's reconnect that O2 sensor. We'll reach all the way up along the transmission and connect it in. Now the next thing that we're going to do is clean up the mating surfaces on our exhaust pipes. We'll clean this flange area. Once we have this one clean, we'll also continue on along the other flange area. Let's continue on with our brand new gasket. Put this in position. Put the pipe up on here and start on your mounting nuts. Once you have them on there, go ahead and bottom these out. make our way back here to the rearward flange. We'll start these on, bottom them out as well. As we tighten these two, it's important to make sure that you tighten them equally. You don't want this sitting off kilter. Now we can torque these to 30 foot pounds. Make our way to the rearward flange and torque those as well. Once again, making sure that we're parallel as far as the flange is concerned. Now we can put in our shield. I'll take this and start it right on, down along through here. Put it in position and start in each of your mounting bolts. Once you have all four of those mounting bolts started in, snug them up. There we 
we are. Let's get this one over here. There we are. Now let's resecure our wiring harness. Let's get ready to install our upstream O2 sensor. Start this in by hand. Now once it feels as though it bottoms out against the pipe, just go ahead and snug it just a little further. Reconnect your upstream O2 sensor. Give it a wiggle to make sure it's completely secured. Okay friends, we showed you how to install your front exhaust manifold catalytic converter assembly on your vehicle. At this point, go ahead and start up your vehicle, make sure you don't have a check engine light, and then take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.